Okay, Matthew, um, disappointing one another defeat here at Fernie Park. Um, can you talk us through your thoughts on tonight's game? Disappointing is the right word. Um, well, so I thought, you know, I thought we, we were the dominating team and they hit us a couple of times in the counter attack. I just thought we lacked quality today, which is, you know, it's hard to say because I think uh, over the course of the season, the lads have shown that they do have tremendous quality. I just felt in the big moments in the game, we just didn't, we just couldn't get a clean connection on a ball or, you know, a decent crossing or, you know, the right pass in the right areas. And, you know, I think for me, that's the most disappointing thing because I felt that they were there for the taking. Um, Bradley came off the bench and looked um, to add a lot of impetus and a, lot, a whole lot of um, pushing forward, basically. That's, that's yeah, and Matty's obviously chomping at the bit to get in the team. And, you know, we, I think we've been doing super over the last month. Um, but, you know, when we see performances like that, you know, he, he's not knocking on the door. He, he's near enough hammering it down now. Um, same as Juki when he came on. And Ryan, I thought the three subs all added something completely different to us. Um, and that'll obviously be, but bear in mind, going forward, you know, we've a, we've a week's rest. Um, next Saturday, um, when it's been out of the Irish Cup, so you know going into the Carrick game, you know we'll be looking. Obviously, we'll be changing the team anyway. But um, you know them, them three in particular have really stood out today. I thought when they came on, and we didn't really capitalise enough on it. To be honest, you know with Juki, he's coming on. Look, everybody's going to know what I'm going to say. We don't want to just pump it long, but and the big fella's winning every header. Then we have to be. You know, somebody said something about reacting. When you react, it's too late in football. You have to anticipate that the ball's going to go. Anticipate that the big man's going to win it. And we were getting in, and, and we were getting in in good areas. But when we got there, then we, you know, we t either took an extra touch or we rushed it a wee bit. And it's not something that's been levelled at the players too often this season. A lack of quality because we've always had quality. Maybe there's other parts of the game that we've made mistakes in. But I've, I've, I've always felt we've had good quality going forward. Um, just didn't, just didn't work for us today. As you said there before, we have this uh, free Saturday. Does it help you or does that frustrate you? You want to get back into that and, 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 and turn it around? Look, every, after every defeat, you want to play as soon as possible. You know, we want to be playing tomorrow or tonight. So, it'll look, it'll give the boys an idea and, and we can work on things, you know, on the training pitch. Um, we'll obviously we'll train Monday. Um, there's a reserve game Tuesday and then we'll be looking. But obviously, we have nothing to prepare for now for, for Saturday. So, our training schedule will obviously be altered um, in that manner. Um, and then we'll come in and we'll do uh, an in-house game probably on Saturday just amongst ourselves. I don't have the value of a friendly at this stage of the year. Um, it was different when I came in at the football club at this time last year because I needed to look at players, so we maybe arranged a couple. Um, we'll certainly not be doing that next week. Um, we'll be, you know, we'll be looking at working on ourselves really in training. Would I want a game? Yes, of course I would if it was a league game, but we don't know a friendly. Um, and, and look, all our focus on Carrick now. Um, in two weeks' time, because you treat, you know, they're, they're better than us, they're bubbles in the league, and they've beaten us twice. So we have to show them the full respect. And, and we've had them watch last, well, two weeks ago, and again today. We'll look at them and we'll look to work out a game plan. Hopefully, that's going to get us a result because clearly the last two times it hasn't worked. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be a massive game against Carrick, um, with them be, with us being so close in the league, mm -hmm. um, with the playoff spots up, up for grabs. Um, there's going to be a, lot, a whole lot of anticipation, fans wise. You're hoping for a big crowd to come out and get behind the guys. It's not hope we need a big crowd. Um, our players thrive on the bigger occasions. When we've had big crowds this year and they drove the boys on, I think we've performed better. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to get my hands and knees here, but it is a plea to get people out because, you know, we do need that backing at all times because I think it's intimidating for away fans. Um, if they come and they see a big packed stand, you know, can we get... An, the old cliche of being the 12th man and that's something I think we need to focus on in the next two weeks to try and get them in. Perfect, thank you. Come on.